So my plan for tonight is to break up this pile of old trees here. They're so old and rotten that I think they should be able to break them up with the backhoe. And then what we're gonna do is just bucket them out of the way. They'll be great for the garden, um, great compost starter, I guess. But as soon as we get that done, then I'm gonna strip this whole area of topsoil. There's about six or eight inches of um, loamy topsoil on top of just rock. So I wanna get the topsoil out just A, so it's, you can save it for future use, and B, it's terrible to have underneath a uh, big open yard or graveled area, because it will pump and do all sorts of weird stuff. So yeah, we'll get this um, pile all broken up and carted out of here hopefully tonight. This tree pile was here when we bought the property. It is left over from the previous owner who piled some trees up when he did some clearing. And it also has been left over since the last time the property was logged, which was around 20 years ago. our previous video I ended up breaking the movable portion of the 4-in-1 bucket off the backhoe and had to re-weld it in the last video. If that interests you you might want to check that out right here. Cleaning this pile up will be a great test for the repairs I did on this bucket so hopefully it holds up. decided to save all of these trees, the topsoil, the small brush we're clearing up from around the yard, and we're just making one big pile down this little path here. And what I'm trying to do is mix everything up together and break it up small enough that in a couple years it'll be a nice good compost for topsoiling or the garden. So here I'm using the teeth of the backhoe bucket to rip up these bigger trees and logs. I'm also breaking the longer logs into manageable lengths so that I can scoop up with the front end loader. around with heavy equipment is kind of a risky uh, job to do. You never know when a tree will pivot weird or come back and come towards the cab. 
So you always have to be slow and cautious when you're doing something like this. thing to think about that will make you a better equipment operator is efficiency of movement. So as you see here I am scooping into the pile and backing up down the trail. That way I'm not turning around twice for each load, I'm just backing straight up. You always want to be cautious when you're backing up heavy equipment though and make sure you have a safe place to do it and that you're always vigilant. It's always safer to go forward for the most part. But also with these trees too, if something falls out of the bucket while I'm carrying it, I'm not going to run it over if I'm going backwards and then I can t take care of it and move it out of the way while I'm coming back to this tree pile to, make, to take the next scoop. We were trying to decide what equipment to get. One of my major requirements was to be able to bucket material long distance because we wouldn't have a dump truck or anything like that. So having the one and a half yard bucket on this with the clamshell makes it very useful for getting these trees moved. And I can take quite a few trees in each scoop. And having the teeth on the front of the bucket helps quite a bit more to be able to grab and get underneath these trees. So very happy with the backhoe. So this is where we're hoping to dump all of the dirt from the grading project up by the shop. This was a tree pile and last night I was able to get most of the trees um, broken up and put into our compost pile. But I still have a big pile left behind me here so we have to do that. And then it's always a good rule of thumb to strip all of the vegetative soil or the, the topsoil off of um, a project before you put fill dirt in. This uh, topsoil is really spongy and soft and if you put rock on top of it, it won't bridge it. It'll just start pumping and be just a nightmare mess. You have to end up digging up the rock, digging up your topsoil, and then putting the rock back down to get it to actually pack in. And then also when I'm putting all the fill material in, I'm gonna do one foot lifts if I can, depending on the material. If it's big rocks, then I'll do probably one and a half to two foot lifts, but if it's more clay material, I'll put it in one foot lifts and then pack it in with the backhoe as I go. That way we don't have too much settling when we're all said and done. Let's get these trees moved and this topsoil stripped.
you'll see me doing here is that I'm scattering my path of where I'm driving as much as I can. That helps on really soft soil like this topsoil here to keep it from getting too rough in one spot or making ruts that are going to be hard to level out or hold water. So just scattering your path really helps as an equipment operator for rider comfort and for your final product of what you're trying to do for your project. Well, the chief pile is gone and the backhoe made quick work of it. I'm really impressed with that machine. Uh, I'm glad I put the teeth on it. It helped pick up all this stuff much easier. But yeah, we have it all cleaned up. Even pulled it out of the trees all along here. And down to the basically, there's a couple uh, stumps and things down here. So I pulled those out. My plan is to strip all of this up here and put it all down here in a pile. That way I have a nice close pile to the house area that I can use whenever I need it. Yeah, it looks a lot different now with all these trees on here. It, that was kind of the one of the more trashy parts of the, the property. So, yeah, after lunch we will get to stripping off all this topsoil and then we can actually start grading out the yard. to this point in the video I want to thank you all for watching. If you want to support the channel the best way to do that is just to hit that like button. Now is also a great time to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. If you want to support the channel in a more direct way the best way to do that is through our YouTube channel memberships. I want to thank you all for watching. Catch you in the next video. Later. <laughs>